Hi guys and welcome to another iPad mini review and in this review I'm going to look at how subtle changes to the ecosystem and indeed applications can change your experience of an application and the tablet as a whole completely and it makes you think that you want this tablet because of this wonderful application and this wonderful uh, design or you're not too interested in the application and then you have to find alternatives. Now this means I'm going to compare the iPad mini to an Android device and this isn't really a Nexus 7 versus an uh, iPad um, type review. It's more just looking at how uh, two applications on both devices which are from the same developers and the same sort of application are com not completely different but are used better in one device than the other and it's kind of one good and one bad for each uh, tablet and the application we're going to look at is IMDB now don't get me wrong this application on both devices is pretty good but after using it for a very short time I prefer the iPad version and I'll give you the reasons why first of all uh, there's a lot more options if you scroll up and down the home page and uh, it's a lot better laid out on the Nexus 7 uh, there's much less to scroll up and down with and it's a lot big, big and blockier and it just looks a bit more uh, crude and rudimentary the other thing is that if you turn the iPad mini version into landscape mode um, again if you scroll down there's a lot more de a lot more information and pictures and stuff to look at really it's just I suppose a, a better user experience if I put the Nexus 7 one in a landscape mode there's pretty much not much there to look at that's it of it does split itself into two individual uh, columns now if we go back to the uh, portrait mode which is how seven inch tablets are designed to be used and then if we just go into one of the films I'll just try and pick uh, the same one to give it a better look uh, let's see if we go to Game of Thrones there so I could find Game of Thrones from the first page on the uh, iPad mini in the Nexus 7 I'm having to do a little bit of navigation but I do end up at the, at the same place again compare the two applications in terms of the information on screen we have a cast here on the Nexus 7 uh, but the cast is here on the iPad and I can scroll up and down that it's kind of its own individual column uh, very nice uh, layout there I feel and as you can see there just needs to be generally more information on the iPad if I scroll down it's giving you a bit about the review commentary trivia storylines and so on on here not there is the same amount but it's more just menus to other areas of the show so if I go to trivia it then brings up the information about the trivia but we already have a few here I think on this one uh, I think it's the did we know ones there uh, so there we are on the trivia on the uh, iPad mini but one thing to note now is that the resolution on the Nexus 7 is kind of outdoing the iPad mini a little bit uh, I'll just put them next to each other and you can see that the readability on the Nexus 7 is probably a lot better than on the iPad mini so there are good things and bad things in these two um, applications I did begin by saying that the experience was slightly better on the iPad and it probably is uh, but there are some things about the Nexus 7 which are better also another thing to note and I'm going to be picking this up in other reviews as well is that if you look along the top bar here can you see how big the buttons are on the Nexus 7 which means that they're much easier to navigate on the Nexus 7 than they are on the iPad and I think this is one of the Achilles heel of having the iPad mirror image its bigger uh, older brother in the iPad retina in that basically all these buttons which are fairly big and chunky on the large iPad are really reduced on the uh, iPad mini and some of these buttons can be quite hard to press I and mean, if you look at the back button if you compare it to the rest of the tablet how much space do you reckon that back button consumes on the iPad mini we're probably looking at less than maybe half a percent of the screen and for such an important button that's really hidden and sometimes when you press it it doesn't quite respond or you just miss it occasionally 
Uh, looking at the Nexus 7, of course, we have a, a much chunkier button here, which kind of acts as a back button or home button, and of course we have the back button here. So just a few uh, differences in terms of navigation. Okay, if we go out of this application now, and we're going to go into the BBC News application, and we'll just see how this application uh, works completely differently on both tablets. Now, in the BBC one, what we have are the menus here, so the, the news headline, and so I have to press on the story to actually go into the article. So, on the face of it, it does look as though there's more navigation. Go to the same uh, news story here, and we can see that there is a big contrast in the way these two stories are presented to the user, even though it is the same article. Look on, on the Nexus 7, we can see that it's just one column of text and is about six or seven words per line which is ideal reading for my preferences uh, and if I want I could make the text even bigger uh, there are plenty of options to get this bigger or I can go lower if we look at the iPad however uh, this is the largest size we have and this is not a very good reading experience it's probably uh, 10 to 15 lines per page I can't make it any bigger unfortunately that's it that's as much as I go and I don't really think that's an enjoyable reading experience if I turn it into landscape mode it gets a little easier uh, because then we have two columns now we have news headlines here and the article here and it does look a little better but still the text uh, pales into insignificance here so the alternative of course with the iPad mini is that instead of going to the BBC News application I may instead go to the actual website which means I have access to more news articles because the BBC News app uh, selects uh, the best articles or the most popular articles whereas the website obviously shows all articles and what is that I can do is I can go to the news story itself and use the reader button and then I can completely control my uh, level of a text font and can make it as large as I want uh, which then kind of trumps the Nexus 7 again a little bit although you may have a slightly different opinion on it but that's just a quick demonstration of how uh, applications running on different ecosystems change slightly but they make a big difference to how you use them I don't think I'll be using the BBC News application at all on the Nexus 7 but I will be using this reader button in the website uh, and using it on many other uh, news websites so thanks for watching guys uh, that was kind of a, an exploration between Android and uh, iOS not trying to say which one is better because I'm sure there will be many other examples where one app works better on the other but it just shows how the uh, iOS on the iPad mini is governed to a large extent on its bigger brother which has some good sides and some bad sides whereas the Nexus 7 and the Android operating system kind of works in its own crazy little world where sometimes apps work perfectly and then sometimes apps don't work perfectly and it can be a bit of a lottery. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another iPad mini video.